Good morning you guys and welcome back to another vlog. For today's vlog I'm actually going to be doing my last week of school vlog. Um, so today starts the last official week of school. I only have four days left of work. Um, my students, my seventh graders are actually done on Wednesday but I also teach eighth grade and the eighth graders are done on Thursday which is like their ceremony. So I wanted to bring you guys along with me for this week kind of just my end of your thoughts, um, things I gotta do, how the week is going, and that's all. What a day it has been. It is already 12, 18, and I have not been able to vlog anything because I got here like right at the bell, and we did not have an advisory, and we also didn't have any breaks. So this is now their lunch and I'm actually done with my day. So for today's schedule, they were on a modified rally schedule, which is basically like um, for like each class is like 45 minutes and it's periods one through five and then lunch and then six period. And then, and then the last hour of the day is like a assembly, which today they are doing yearbook signing. And that's the only reason I'm here because I would normally be able to take off because I don't have a six period, but Unfortunately, they needed me and the math department to um, supervise the event in the, in the gym. So here I am eating my lunch and wasting over an hour of my life doing nothing. I have nothing to do. Um, so what I could do is actually I'm going to eat my lunch and then I can show you guys kind of how I'm leaving my classroom and just wrapping up this year. So let me eat my lunch, which is just a salad and a Mexican drink, and then I will check in shortly. All right, so I just finished my lunch. It was a really small salad, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be hungry in like 30 minutes. But anyways, I wanna show you guys kind of where my classroom is and um, how I've already prepared it for the end of school like um, in case you're not a teacher you just don't know um, you usually have to kind of clear out your classroom depending on your school site some school sites will make you like take everything off your walls and everything like just bring it down so that they can clean over summer um, thankfully this year my school is just having us like have our floors pretty much clear so they can come and wax the floors over summer so i have put everything on my back cabinets and cleared out pretty much everything except the chairs and the tables and my desk because i'm not taking this desk home two weeks ago i spent time um, getting everything cleared out and ready to go up so that i can just kind of not have to worry about it this week this week is just kind of hanging out with my students and saying our goodbyes because literally tomorrow i see some of my seventh graders for the last time and some of my eighth graders actually um, their last day of school is on Wednesday for 7th, and I think I mentioned this, Thursday is the last day for 8th. And so, it's like the end, like, I didn't even see a lot of my 8th graders because they're on a field trip today, so. They're, the year's over. Anyways, enough chatting. Alright, so here's my room. I am actually surprised on how my walls have kept up, kind of. My borders are honestly kind of destroyed. My borders are pretty destroyed, and I know when I come back in August, uh, that is one of my main priorities is going to be to just restaple or fix my borders because just from like having my tables or my students like chairs and backpacks, my borders have just gotten destroyed. And honestly, I can't be mad because you guys all know how it is when you're in middle school and you have substitutes and you're just kind of being defiant and annoying little child. That's definitely what happened this year. Because I was on baby bonding for a few months out of the school year, um, when I came back, some things were just kind of a little worn out. And so I definitely need to make sure I make note to fix all of this before the start of the next school year, which I don't think is going to be hard, honestly. Just either restaple or take some down and re-put them up. So that's not something to worry about. All right, so this, this is what my back cabinet looks like. So these are all things that were all over like different spots in my classroom, like my rug, my pillows, my mailboxes, my rolling cart, all that stuff is things that I don't, haven't been needing for the past few weeks since we have been testing. And so I was able to go through and clear out things and 
put things away and so if you look I have nothing on my like flooring that can't stay like I have my rug already put away there's nothing else other than my teacher desk this and all of the student desks and chairs which are fine to stay because they'll just move them around and stack them up um, I'm planning to just kind of on Thursday before I take off just clear this stuff that are, that's actually on my tables so I'll probably just put them put the papers and stuff back here somewhere and I might put my rolling cart up on the cabinet somewhere just so that the custodial doesn't have to worry about it they'll just have to move my desk around to clear, clean the floors and that'll be it um, I, I'm actually gonna insert some clips do I have them I think I have some clips from a couple weeks ago when I was actually cleaning out my cabinets and so I'm gonna insert, insert those here all right I'm just now getting in for the day I um, kind of just want to quickly show you guys my room okay so this is the most I could zoom out on my phone but this is what my room is looking like What I've been working on has been my desk area. So yesterday I spent all day cleaning out my desk space, going through papers, organizing, putting things away for next year that I'm gonna be using, just kind of organizing like, this is just like different supplies, I have staplers and things like that. They just kind of don't have a space right now in my room. Um, I'm just kind of having everything here. I have my whiteboards, calculators all right here. I labeled everything. For next year um that's the bell for students to head to class I have five minutes um but yeah um i have my advisory class coming in right now and then i'm going to be on my prep period which is sixth period where i am going to figure out if i need to call any students in but then also um just to make up or finish testing but then also i'm going to be um just getting some cleaning done. My goal is to have all of this stuff that I have here um, back there on that back cabinet. Um, we do have like a checklist of things that have to get checked off by certain people like our librarian, custodial, um, admin, and so I'm planning to just wrap these things up this week and turn it all in. Some things that I've also been doing aside from like physical cleaning in my classroom has been like cleaning of my computer. I've actually been going through and like clearing out files and organizing files and setting up my files for next school year. Once again, just one step and one thing less that I have to worry about over summer. So come August when I'm back on campus for like um, duty days where I have to like be here for meetings, I can actually just work on like planning my lessons and preparing things for the future. Um, and I feel like it'll just be a good start. Like I already have my files created, everything is organized. I'm already ready, like all my back to school um, week and things like that is already completed. So I'm excited to kind of just leave for summer and just enjoy my summer. Okay, um, a couple more things I wanna talk about. One, I spent last night going through 
these letters that my students wrote. So an activity I do um, at the beginning of the school year is I have students write a letter to their um, to themselves so that they can read and reflect on their school year. And so today I've been passing them out. And I still have a lot because, like I said, one, it's the last week of school, so a lot of absences. Two, my eighth graders are not here, so majority of these are from eight, two eighth grade periods. And um, I just thought it was nice. I went through and kind of just put a small note, put their name, and I'm letting them open them and read the letter that they wrote them to themselves. Some of them took it seriously. Some of them could care less about it. So... I left it up to them, but that was an activity I did, and I, I'm glad I remembered to go back and give it back to them, and I plan to do that again next year. But um, one more thing I was going to say is, um, well, speaking of like kind of enjoying summer, I'm actually planning to take a couple trips this year. So one coming up like literally next week, which I'm super nervous for. Um, so my dad actually does not live in California. And so my mom gets to go visit him when I'm on break because I, you know, I don't have her, I don't need her here watching my kids. So she's able to kind of just go and enjoy her time. And so for this time, I think I'm going to go with him, I mean with her, to go visit him and take my kids. So good things and bad things. So good things is my, my dad actually has not met my daughter. Um, she's already, oh, she's going to be 14 months in a few days actually. And so, or on the 12th, she'll be 14 months. And so he will get to meet her for the first time. But some of the bad things about this is that my mom drives to where he lives, which is almost 24 hours. And that is what makes me nervous. And I just don't know how my kids are going to do in the car that long. And I feel like I might not have that much hope just because I know how antsy they are and how much they love to be out active and moving. So I'm just going to be praying for the rest of this week that they do good on this trip and that it's a good, successful, safe trip. And then my next thing of worries is the fact that we're going to be flying back to California. So it's like a six hour flight from where my dad lives to California and I'm taking it with no one but myself and two kids I'm very nervous about that because I just airports just give me so much anxiety and stress and not only that but then I have my one-year-old and my two-year-old I'm taking with me and I'm really nervous but I think it'll be worth it because like I said I'm on summer now so I really don't have any reason I need to be here aside from like my son starting soccer and my daughter starting swim but it's just very nerve-wracking to to know that I have to trust that they can take this trip um and be okay like just behavioral wise so pray for me you guys and i will hopefully vlog this trip um because i would love to document this and so hopefully you guys see this vlog in the next couple weeks actually it might be the next video after this video we shall see um what else was i gonna say oh and then we have another trip possibly in july at the end of july to washington um, for obvious like a work purpose conference that I'm going to but I'm possibly taking my kids and my mom or my husband not sure who's going but that's a five-day trip and once again there's a flight involved nerves stress anxiety creeping up already but I will also take you guys with me on that trip actually now that I'm thinking about it so be on the lookout for some cool vacation and weekends and just family vlogs because this is the last teacher vlog you're going to get into August, for sure. All right, it is 2.21. Just finished the yearbook signing with my students. Or well, actually, it was all the seventh graders and signed so many yearbooks. Um, I actually have a copy of it here, and I'm going to have my students sign them for the rest of this week. So I'm going home. Bye, you guys. Good morning, you guys, and happy Tuesday. Another day at work. Um, after today, I only have two days left of work. Really quickly, just want to update you guys. The bell's about to ring literally in like 30 seconds. For lunch today, I have another salad, another jarito. I'm trying the lime flavor. And I stopped at the store <clears throat> for some orange juice because I'm actually feeling under the weather. My throat hurts. My head's congested and hurting. And so I actually really don't feel good today. But I only have three more days of work and I really don't. Like today's, the three classes I have today is my last day teaching them. So... I really didn't want to miss and it got me some chips so that's what I'm doing or that's what I have for today 
Um, on my to-do list for today is honestly to unplug my refrigerator and, and take it outside so I can dethaw or unthaw or whatever so that I can get checked off from the custodial. And then after I get checked off there, I'm pretty much cleared until the 7th, which is tomorrow, um, before admin comes and just checks that everything looks good in my room. And then I could submit this, and then I am done and ready for summer. So that's it for today, pretty much. I might check in at lunch. Maybe not. Not really feeling good. We shall see. See you guys later. So, you see that original. See you guys second. Just yeah, the original. I was learning control. Die, just leave out. Not, yeah. I was learning control. Your only ambition was to be a total loser, which you are. Just because I have my own personality and dreams. And Good morning and welcome back to another day. Today is Thursday, June 8th. And it's my last day at work and it's an actual very interesting day i won't be able to document much of anything just because of the fact that there's no seventh graders on campus it's just eighth graders and we are doing their ceremony and i actually don't have like a seven an eighth grade class in the morning to like to be a part of i don't know if that makes sense so basically like they're going to their advisory class which is I don't have an 8th grade advisory class, so I'm partnering with a different teacher. And then from there, we take them over to the cafeteria where they have their ceremony, and I'm just there to pretty much watch the ceremony. And then after the ceremony, a lot of students are going home. But if students stay, then you go to the next class period, which would be 6th, 5th uh, period. And my 5th period is 7th graders, so I don't have any classes today. And so hopefully I can document a little bit of the ceremony. Um, all I gotta do today is get checked off with my admin and turn in my keys. And then I'm actually on summer vacation. I was not vlogging yesterday because I actually did not make it to work. Yesterday was my seventh grader's last day at school and I missed it because I had a migraine for the like literally over 24 hours. And so I missed work yesterday because I just was in a lot of pain. So I'm glad I'm doing a lot better to be able to be at work today for at least the last day. So enjoy the rest of this vlog or whatever it may entail and I will see you guys shortly. I'm all done. And I am honored to wait, welcome you today to celebrate.